all right guys i'm gonna give you guys a quick tutorial on how i do my tie dye um what you'll need is some gym chalk paste uh some glitter some 3d glitter some food coloring and your type of mold that you want to use So I'm going to start by using yellow. What you want to do is just make a pattern into your mold, whatever the size that you're doing. Just make sure that you're following a pattern and then I'm just going to speed it up and continue with the rest of the colors. The next color I'm using is green and then I'm going to be using blue. So when you're using your paste, you kind of want to make sure your paste is thick and you want to scoop it up and pour it, well place it directly on top of the food coloring without shaking the mold. Uh, this is the way that I did it before and with this technique, if you shake the mold before you finish pouring it directly on the food coloring, you're going to mess up the color but once you place all of it on the food coloring first and then lightly tap the mold so that it all levels, then the color on the bottom should place really nicely when it's done in the dehydrator. And this is me just lightly tapping the mold so that everything is leveled with no air bubbles. And this is my favorite part. On top of the gym chalk, you're going to take the food coloring and place them in random places and do that with all three colors. And at the end, I'll show you how to get that tie dye effect. And I'm just going to speed it up. I'm gonna go ahead and do this technique with all of my other molds starting with the first color and then so on and so forth and then I'm gonna speed it up and show you guys my next process so for these molds I am gonna add some glitter to the bottom I take some of the 3d glitter first and I just place a little bit underneath where the food coloring is with it before I just place the gym chalk on top this is where you can be creative and you can use whatever colors that you want. This is my fun part, I guess. <laughs> this is the part where I like to just show a little bit more creativity. Again, with how we place the gym chalk in the bigger mold, we're just going to do the same exact thing for the smaller mold and place the gym chalk paste right directly on top of the food coloring without moving it just yet.
just lightly tap so you can get some air bubbles out. You want to go ahead and do the same process for the bigger mold and do them for the smaller molds as well. This one's a little bit different. You can do anything that you want and just place them wherever. Some colors have more than others, but that's okay because we kind of want the tie-dye effect and no tie-dye is the same. Here is the tricky part, you want to get a clean spatula or something clean. And when you're creating the tie-dye effect, you want to go on a circular motion and not go back on the place that you went already. Now I know that doesn't make any sense, <laughs> but you want to take the spatula and go around the color and make sure that when you pick up the spatula to place it on a new place that it's a white place and not one with the color if that makes sense if it doesn't make sense I'm hoping that me showing it made sense and every now and then just make sure you're cleaning the spatula because yellow and blue makes green in my case you want to make sure that your spatula is not just green and not making the entire thing green and yeah and I'm just gonna speed up the decorating process I'm just adding some glitter and making it pretty going a little bit overboard with the glitter but yeah <laughs> And here is my finished look for my donuts. And now we want to go back with the same spatula on top of the mold for the bigger one. This one is different. You just want to go in a circular motion with the white parts in the spatula and continue going in that circular motion. So it's kind of like a Picasso effect. And then obviously we're going to decorate. that I was thorough enough in my tutorial. If you do have any questions, feel free to write me in the comments and let me know if I can explain it a little bit more further. But thank you for watching and I hope this really helped.